Welcome to Danny's Kitchen, everybody. Today, I'm going to make some honey chicken soy thighs. Now, I'm like, anytime you get a chance to cook with honey, you got to, because it's just so yummy. It literally puts the um and yum. So, obviously, we're going to use some honey. We're going to use some soy sauce. We're going to use some olive oil, some garlic, salt, and pepper, some ginger, parsley, and the star of the show is going to be the chicken thighs. Now these are bone-in. I'm going to take the skin off because that's how I like I like the bone-in. I think it brings a flavor to it. I'm going to mince up the garlic and I got to peel and I got to chop up just a little bit of the ginger. So I'm going to start that. I'll be right back. Now when I'm peeling my ginger, which you have to do for certain, you know, certain things I make, it's easy. You take a little butter knife and you just peel away. It comes right off. It's so simple. Done baker, marinade, olive oil, soy sauce, ginger, and your pepper, and of course your salt, garlic, and the star of the show would be the honey. Mix that up. Mmm. Mmm. That does smell tasty. I love ginger. It just brings so much to the table. And with honey, it's a win-win-win. Turn that chicken around, mix it around. I'm going to throw the other pieces in there. I'll be right back. All right. This is done mixing. I'm going to take this and put it in the fridge for about an hour. Let that marinade really penetrate the chicken. I like this dish because I'm going to use my cast iron skillet, but I'm not going to fry it. We're going to cook it in the oven. And while it's cooking in the oven, every now and then I'm going to come by and turn over the chicken. At the end, I'm going to blast it on the broiler. And then I'm going to toss some parsley on top. I'm going to bed it with some rice. It's going to be really yummy. I'm excited. See you in about an hour. Well, we're back. Truth be told, I let this sit in the fridge for a couple hours because honestly, more time just makes it more better. So if I had the chance, I would actually let it sit in the fridge overnight. FYI, but here we are. I've got my cast iron skillet. I'm going to go ahead and take the chicken out, lay it in the skillet. Beautiful color. Mm. And I have my oven is preheated at 400 degrees. I'm going to toss it in there for about, because it has a bone in, uh, maybe about 50, 55 minutes, give or take. But as it's cooking, about every 20 minutes or so, I'm going to cruise on by and flip the chicken in there so it gets cooked both sides really, really well. And like I said, at the end, I'm going to blast it on the broiler. It's going to be epic. See you in about an hour. All right, so this is my second turn that I've done these. And uh, you want to keep flipping them because that liquid there, that just keeps them juicy as can be. So I'm going to throw them back in the oven now for the last little run before I set them up on the broiler. Okay, here we are. It's the final flip. <laughs> I'm flipping this bad boy. My broiler is on. It's getting hot. I'm going to toss it in there for about five minutes. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to top it with some parsley. And then we're going to try it out. Get my parsley ready to top my chicken. I'm starving. Woo, look at that. Yep, that'll do. That's gonna work. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a very nice, look at that. You know that's gonna taste yum, 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 yum. Time to plate this bad boy and then we're gonna try it out. That's a gonna be tasty. Well, it's been quite a journey, but we did it together. Alas, plated. We're gonna try it out, see what we have. It smells phenomenal. Very, very exciting. It's that time. Bon appetit. The honey, the soy sauce, the hint of ginger, mm, the garlic, phenomenal. You'll be very happy with this one, and it's not that difficult a dish to make. Try it out. Well, that was tasty. 
Please like and follow. Share. Share my videos with everybody, please. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And remember, love life one bite at a time.